Welcome, and in this lecture, we are going to learn about BioSwift dictionaries. So BioSwift dictionaries are similar to regular Swift dictionaries in that they are key value pairs. This allows us to allocate a value to a key, whereas the key would be like an adenine and the value would be A. So let's create a couple BioSwift dictionaries, DNA and RNA. And I'm going to want to save these for later. So so I saved the one as BioSwift Dictionary DNA, and I'm saving this one as BioSwift Dictionary RNA. So now if I say DNA A Then I would get adenine. Just like I could go RNA. And that would give me your so easy, right? So say you have a data set, a cancer data set of like the BRCA1 NCBI breast cancer data set, a FASTA file that shows almost literally 3 million nucleotides. So you want to know if it's an RNA or DNA file because it's not marked as such. You would just want to know if it has uracil in it. Because if it's uracil, then you know it's a protein versus a chromosome, and that's RNA. Okay. So if you went DNA... You we should come up with a false boolean or nil. Okay, so this is saying, you know what? No, uracil is not in DNA, just like I could do RNA thymine, and that should come up nil. as you know. No thymine in that RNA protein. So if I wanted to turn that DNA into RNA, I could do so. So now if I were to print It 
would show me uracil, which would now make that a protein or RNA. So we can see the guanine, the adenine, the cytosine, but it's showing T for uracil. So let's just get rid of that altogether. So now it's showing that the uracil will be removed, or has been removed. And as you can see, we have the guanine, adenine, and cytosine. So as we want to keep that or convert that to RNA, we will just say DNA U equals universal. And if we print it, and as you can see, we have guanine, adenine, cytosine, and uracil, which is RNA. So that will conclude this lesson. That will also conclude this crash course on DNA, hacking with SWIFT 4, an introduction to bioinformatics. My name is Brian Rouse. We'll see you next course.